Hey guys, it is Liberty here from Spirit Move Ministries. Yes, I'm talking quietly because here I am at Prayer Mountain, Moravian Falls. There's other people here, so I want to try to not be too loud out of respect for them. It's kind of hard to see because of all the trees. I probably would have a better view once the leaves fall. Basically, I just wanted to share my experience here before I head back to Florida. I've had an amazing time here with the Lord. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about my experience while I've been here. Continuing on, um, I had an amazing time with the Lord here the last couple of days. I just wanted to kind of highlight a few things and I know that people who have not been here wonder uh, what it's like up here what does the Lord really move do you see angels is there physical manifestations of his glory and um, I'm here to tell you that yes it's extremely spiritual spiritually impactful um, several things I will tell you is on the way here, within two hours of getting to the mountain, um, I started manifesting gold dust before I even got to the mountain. And so uh, that let me know that uh, God was majorly on the move and he was about to minister mightily um, to whatever, whatever he wanted to do when I came here. And so... I had gold dust all over in my car. It was all over me, all over my clothes. And um, it was already starting. And so some of the manifestations that happened here while I was here in prayer, um, just sitting with the Lord, sitting in his presence here on top of the mountain, um, basically I saw a glory cloud come in several times coming down the path it looked as though there's a bunch of dust like people had um been coming up and down the path but there was nobody there <laughs> except for me and um nobody was out here with me and so it it was just an amazing sight to see the glory of the lord um in a cloud form come and just um, hang out where I was at. Um, I went to the falls, the Moravian Falls. That is extremely uh, impactful. I mean, I can't even give you words. As soon as you walk up, you get near them, you can feel the glory so strong. And the same thing happened as I sat there and I worshiped for about 30 minutes. The glory mist came and, and rested over the falls and just sat there with me while I was there. And so, um, there's no words to describe. Um, as you make your way through the mountain, I chose to just do what the Lord was telling me to do. Um, as I came in to the mountain, number one, my the time when I first got here and I walked through the front was 11:11. There's no mistake on that, you guys. It was 11:11 when I walked through there. Also, if you have not been here. You would not know when you walk down the front street that it's all covered in silver and gold. It's everywhere. It's in the dirt. It's all around the trees. It's on the leaves. Uh, everything is shiny and glistening uh, like the whole mountain's covered in silver and gold dust. Literally, I'm not kidding. And um, it got all over my shoes. And if I was near my car, I would go back there and show you. Um... But it was all over my shoes when I went. And so I didn't know it was getting all over my car. So I went the second time to get back in. I had been here and then I got in my car and then I came back later. And um, I was like, oh my goodness. And there was like silver all over the bottom of my car. Silver dust. And I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm carrying it around with me everywhere I go. And so it was getting on everything. 
and um, and so uh, this was some of what I was experiencing here. I wasn't coming saying, "Oh God, I want to, I want manifestations." I don't need manifestations. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I don't need proof of anything. Um, but I just kind of came and sat here and did what he, what he told me to do when he basically called me here three days before I came. I didn't even know. I just kept feeling like he was like, just drive away with me, Liberty. And I was like, okay, but where am I going? And he didn't tell me till Friday morning, I want you to go to Moravian Falls. And I was like, okay. And I'm obedient. So the next morning I got up and, um, uh, let the boys know that I was taken off and, um, uh, they wanted to come with me, and so um, they brought their own vehicles and came with me, and we all came to hang out in the glory. And so um, we've had an amazing time um, here, and I will just tell you that as I walked through the top of the mountain, you can feel it. So first of all, you feel the presence everywhere anyway, but then um, there's certain points um, for me, anyway, everyone's going to um, feel it differently. It, it's not the same for everybody. It depends on how receptive you are and, and how you typically uh, meet with the Lord and acknowledge his presence and that kind of thing. And so for me, as I was walking through, I could feel places that were more, um, they were a more open heaven, an open portal than other spots. And so I didn't physically see anything, but I could feel that I entered into um, a, a, a glory zone. Is what I call it, um, a glory zone. And when you when you enter when I entered those places, immediately um, the anointing and what I carry would get very happy and start to bubble up in me, and it would know that it was, uh, you know, uh, hanging out with heaven, and um, so. I would sit and camp in, in that area for about 30 minutes and just soak and uh, until I felt like he was moving me on. And then I would move on down the top of the mountain um, hiking. And, and then when I entered another glory zone where I could feel that I was entering another glory zone, um, I would camp there for 20 or 30 minutes and I would soak and I would pray and I would declare whatever he was telling me to do. Um, but I will just tell you, uh, Every, especially, it doesn't matter what kind of Christian you are, but spirit-filled Christians, definitely. You need to make your way up here. It is a powerful time with the Lord. Um, there's really no words to describe. It, you have to come yourself. Um, my sons, uh, they came up here separate from me because I wanted them to be on their own with the Lord. And so they came up and um, uh, hung out on their own, separately, walked around, uh, sat in the glory, um, had their own experiences with the Lord, and um, had an amazing time here also. And I'll just tell you, um, it's a pivotal thing because you hear things, you he tells you things, it, the clarity of vision, the clarity of um, hearing, everything is is beyond, it's beyond. And so if you have not been here, I recommend you make a time if you have to just drive. Um, you bring your kids and you come and you figure it out and you come and sit here. And other than having a place to stay and bringing food, there's not a huge cost to it. You just drive, um, depending on how close you are. But um, I just wanted you guys to know what I experienced here. Um, it's the real deal, you guys. I, there's those there's no other words I mean I probably could tell other stories um there's just been so much there's there's just there's I could just keep telling stories and so um I mean I mean it okay we came in on road 77 and then we got to the house where I was staying and it was 7.7 .7 miles to get here from the house I was staying I I rented then we got up here and it was 70, 70 degrees. And um, you guys, I'm not making this stuff up. It's no joke. And then when I walked through the front things, it was 11, 11. And so it, it's been some powerful moments uh, for sure. And an amazing time with the Lord. And um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, come home and release an impartation of what I received 
over my team and um, it's just going to carry on to what he's called us to do all over the nation, the nations and Florida, especially um, the fire nights that we're going to begin to start. Um, if you didn't know, go back and watch the Florida um, announcement video. Um, we're going to be starting to do fire nights all around Florida, strategically located near college campuses to reach um, the Gen Zs and um, the, the younger millennials. And so I'm very excited about that. <clears throat> There's so much God is doing. Um, and we're ready to basically go wreck it. Amen. And um, that's it, guys. It's been an amazing time here. Um, there's no words to describe it. You got to come yourself and come hang out in the glory, y'all. Um, also, I just want to say thank you uh, to those who have uh, donated to help with the furnishings to getting into a new place. Um, I just wanted to mention that um, because it's been a huge blessing. Uh, as you know, we moved the quickest version possible. Um, my house was flooded in Texas, but here's the issue. Um, I didn't get a bunch of insurance money to replace my stuff because I didn't own the house. So then the insurance company was arguing with the property management and they were fighting it out. And so then the insurance didn't think they were as responsible because it was an act of God. And then it made the pipes freeze and burst. So there was a bunch of arguing. And in that four weeks of arguing, all my furniture sat in the house and became moldy and nasty and just everything got destroyed. So it was not safe for me to keep anything. And so um, they would not let me take anything out of the house because they said they had to have it for pictures and for uh, adjustments and all this other stuff. And so it was a huge drama. So in the end, um, I did not get replacement for all my stuff. So I came to Florida, rented an Airbnb that was uh, furnished for three months while I figure out the neighborhoods and, and where I want to live and all that. So now I'm getting ready to move into a permanent house but I didn't bring anything with me because I don't have anything. But I'm sure there's really good, um, amazing, beautiful God reasons for that. But that's not the point. Anyway, thank you for those who have given. Um, I love you. I feel very blessed to have uh, such a uh, giving and um, just a, a beautiful global family. And so I love you guys. Um, I will talk to you later. And I'm going to head out because I have a nine-hour drive. And I teach a class tonight. And I have to be um, back in Florida to teach it. So um, I got to leave and I'm pretty sure I won't be stopping, possibly. Anyway, I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye from Moravian Falls Prayer Mountain. Amen.